Yeah, last time we discussed on um, the direct online starter. So then also I posted a video on YouTube and Facebook on the simulation of um, the forward and reverse data so we get to understand so that when we dive into explaining the forward and reverse data so we will understand how it functions so that we carry out our installation works on site perfectly. On the right, on the left hand side, we have uh, the power circuit. This is the power circuit, and then on the right hand side is the control circuit. So now what happens here is, we look at the control circuit. So what we will be doing now is um, explaining how the control circuit functions. And then while we are explaining, we'll be seeing how current will be flowing to the power circuit and then getting to the point of the electric motor. And then you see how the motor will be rotating. So we'll start from the top. This is our thermal relay, as you can see. The same way that we had on uh, the direct online startup. So this is the thermal relay. And the next is a close contact, which is a push button, the stop push button. So this is a stop push button. So we represent it as a close contact. The next now is um, the start push button, which we is represented as a, an open contact, which is S1. And then we have a close contact of KM2. As we keep driving, I'll explain to you guys why we use the close contact of KM2 instead of KM1 or instead of contactor 1 or contactor 2. And then we move now down. This is a coil, which is A1 and A2, K1. So move to the other side. S2 is going to be a, it's an open contact, which represents a start push button of the contactor KM1. The next on our right, which is a KM2, this is an open contact of the contactor. It moves down straight. We have a KM11, which is a close contact of the KM1. Move down as well, we have this is the coil of K.